Zero, zero. So, oh my gosh. You did that on purpose. Almost. I might have almost. There we go. Only We only have how many sig figs? Not that I don't remember. Like two or something like that. Anyway, there it is. Isn't that wonderful? This didn't come out to like 666 or something like that. Okay, who said that? That was bad. I only thought that. Okay. Diddly, 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 diddly. Okay, so let's do um, let's do a little whiteboarding of the the path of these guys. Yeah. Okay. So here, this thing is. And the proton is going this way. Which way is this guy going to go? We don't need to, you don't need to put this on the whiteboard. We're going to do this just all together. Okay. So, index finger is that way. Middle finger, which way? Out of the page. So the force is going to be this way. So it's going to curve which way? Down. Down is going to go like this. In fact, if you fire it into this thing, it's going to be like a mirror for it, right? The, the proton is going to go into it, turn around, come back out. Yeah? Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, next one. An electron. Electron will curve which way? The opposite way, right? So we do exactly the same thing, right? With this, you go index finger this way, middle finger out of the page, down, but it's negative down. So it's up, right? An electron this way. Well, velocity is that way, middle finger is out of the page. It's up. But it's negative up, so it's it's down. All right. Uh, proton. This time it's going to curve the way it should, right? So proton going down. Middle finger is into the page. Force is to the right. And uh, I guess it's going to curve to the right, and then it's going to go swoopy. Yeah, I hope so. Electron. That way, middle finger into the page. It's going to go up, but it's negative up, so it's down, yeah? Okay, so when you look at these, um, when you look at these uh, uh, particle accelerators, right, uh, for like the Large Hadron Collider, the reason why they make them go in loops like that is there's, there's two reasons, okay? Uh, uh, the main reason is that you make them go in loops however you want to, so that you have more, you don't need a, a thing that's like five million miles long, okay? You can, you can make it only 3.2 kilometers in radius or something like that, right? Okay, so you can use the space over and over and over again, yeah? Okay, the Stanford Linear Accelerator is the, like, you know, linear accelerators are the only ones that use the length that they have and that's what they're confined to. So these loop ones, they, they make them go in circles because they can use the space over and over again and this space has to, of course, be a, a, a vacuum, okay? And this distance here is, well, 27 kilometers all the way around, right? Okay. So, um, but the second thing, the second thing is that with magnets, it's very simple to make things go in a circle. Yeah. So all you need is a magnetic field, and that's what they tend to do, right? So the earliest ones were things called cyclotrons, which you, know, you could fit one of those in this room, and all you had was a magnetic field, and that made the, the, the stuff go in circles, right? Here's a picture of CERN from the air. Of course, the, the actual system is below the ground, and these people can't actually see that line. That's just like photoshopped in there. Yeah, there we have it. Right? Actually, the grass dies above the accelerator in that pad. I'm just kidding. Here's inside of it, right? And this is presumably the vacuum system and everything, but this is the, this is the channel where the, everything's going on. <laughs> Let's try these.